been a while since I made a YouTube video, so we need to do something fun now. Yeah. Oh, it's been a minute. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is ya boy. Yo, Anderson, back again with another video. Today, we are going to go through 100 unpopular opinions together. That's going to be divided into five categories. Number one is food and beverages. Number two is music, followed up by society, then religion, and last but definitely not least, relationships. This is going to be a very controversial video. So if you don't have a thick skin, please click out of this video now. Three, two, one, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, people, I'm super excited about getting into this video. So yeah, sit down, grab some popcorn, and let's dive straight into this. And this might be the end of my career. But yeah, <laughs> let's go, baby. People, so the first topic when it comes to unpopular opinions is food and beverages, okay? I don't know, some pizza. I'm just saying that straight up. So the first one is, people, ketchup should be fridge cold. Eh, don't really care. Soda fountain coke tastes different than a can poured over ice. Yes, it does. I'm sponsored by Coca-Cola. I know this. <laughs> Beer out of a can tastes weird. No, it tastes uh, pretty good, actually. Strawberries get more credit than they deserve. No, I don't think so. Vegetables are better than dessert. It doesn't taste better, but it's probably better for you. Pickle juice is delicious. Who would even put that in the same sentence? Excuse me, Snooky. Nutritious and a treat for your mouth and body. Nah. No, it's not a treat for your mouth, definitely. But if you got pickle mouth, if, if you're talking to me with pickle mouth, I ain't gonna last long in that conversation. I'm just telling you, okay? I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to bed now. I don't even think that's good for your body. I mean, that ain't good. That's like acid. <laughs> Cake. Oh, ooh, sh oh, shit. Okay, people, people, this one. This is gonna offend a lot of people, okay? And my opinion on this one. Cake is not that good. I agree. I'm not a cake person. I don't, I don't, I don't. Ask my brother, okay? He's gonna have a completely different opinion than me. So we're not agreeing on this thing. So now, that means me and my brother ain't that similar. <laughs> damn, I knew it all along. We ain't that similar, yo. <laughs> yeah, damn, I'm one of a kind. I'm not like my whole family, man. <laughs> Room temperature butter is the truth. Yes. Brunch is not that bad, but it's dramatically overrated. I don't even know what brunch is. Like before you go out and drink, you have like a little bit of brunch. Like brunch, no, brunch is before dinner, right? Uh, I'm gonna say it's overrated. Nuts in chocolate is really, really wrong. Mm. It's okay, but it's just okay. It's not like pure chocolate. So I'm gonna have to say disagree on that one. Rare steak sucks. Yes, it does. Here's the thing, I don't like to just eat meat that's not cooked. Imagine the people on the restaurant walking up to you with a silver plate and just a raw piece of meat. I ain't talking about girls, okay? Because that, that would be very wrong of me to raw piece. So, I can't stand pizza with tomato sauce. I always ask for it without. That's like the second coming of the dough. Dough pizza sauce. What's wrong with you? No. I don't like Nutella. You don't like chocolate? You don't like enjoying life? You don't like life? Tea sucks. Eh, I'm not a big fan. So I would have to lean more on the tea sucks side, even though I love my Brits and I would love to like tea a lot more. But in the environment that I live in, my family, we ain't drinking that much tea, all right? It just is what it is, isn't it? Bacon is very good, but like shut the F up. It's not that good. Huh. Okay, this is gonna be controversial. I've heard that it's the only type of food that's gonna like activate your six taste senses, your six taste buds in your mouth. Uh, it's good for sure, but I don't think it's that amazing. Again, go ahead and ask my brother. He's gonna disagree with me on this one. If he. <laughs> My younger brother had a dream once that he said to me, when I get older, I'm gonna buy a full pack of bacon and eat it all by myself because it's so good. It's pretty good, but it, it ain't that good. I hate the avocados, but I love guacamole. Uh, I'd say the other way around, so I'd have to say disagree on this one. Mushrooms are effing disgusting. They're fungus and grown on shit. That's probably true, and that makes me feel like they're effing disgusting as well. Uh, I don't eat fungus. No, <laughs> I'd have to say mushrooms are not for me on this one. So that's a no. Watermelon is absolutely Absolutely disgusting. I don't eat watermelon. I don't like it, but I don't think it's disgusting. But I lean more towards the I don't eat it. You know, I don't I don't like it so much that I want to say yes. I'm gonna have to say no on this one as well. Ketchup be damned, which means stain ketchup. I assume this is people not liking ketchup. So I'm just gonna have to say I like ketchup. It's a yes for me. I don't know. Liver is beautiful. The most underrated fool of all time. <laughs> no, I would never. 
ever eat liver. Listen, I'm just gonna hit you with this one fact while we're at it, okay? When we're talking about these kind of things, the liver, the liver inside, the liver inside your body, the disgusting the intestine you have. I love my liver. The only reason why is because you can chop off 70% of your liver and it's gonna grow back. It's gonna be completely fine. It's the only organ in your body that's gonna fully recover from anything. So if you're an alcoholic, you're gonna be good. The liver's gonna be like, hey, I got you, bro. Just quit for a week and I'm gonna recover. The liver is amazing, but I don't like eating a liver. Are you crazy or something? It sounds... Ugh. I can't eat intestines, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's a hard no for me, but I love the liver, but it's a hard no for me. Meat is overrated. Boy! Boy, here we go. This is what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so now we're getting into the juice of this video, all right? Because uh, being a vegan is this thing that a lot of people are very passionate about. And I've actually considered for a while going vegan just to try it out and see, like, what is this about? You know what I mean? Meat is overrated. No, it's not. I don't think so. I'm not a vegan. I'm sorry to you, vegan out there who might be offended by this but I like meat and I feel good because I'm working out a lot and when I eat meat I just feel a surge of energy so to speak from eating meat it gives me you know all the proteins to rebuild and yada 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 uh, but I don't think it's overrated I like meat I'm gonna have to say yes on that one no I'm gonna have to say no on that one chocolate ice cream is absolutely disgusting it's not my favorite but it's not disgusting ice cream is good I mean it's a lot better than cake Woo! god damn all right, people, so we survived the whole food and beverages topic. Hopefully, we're still friends. I hope so. And the thing we're gonna go ahead and do now is move over to music, all right? I have a passion for music. I love music. I'm a big music fan. I wanna be a musician myself, but I ain't got the voice. Huh. I got an ear for music. I love music. I love listening to music and I'm a huge huge fan of music all right? So this is gonna be probably very controversial this whole thing ready. Let's go BTS is highly overrated. So the thing about BTS is that uh, I don't pay that much attention. I actually don't pay any attention to them. I saw a music video once from them. And let me tell you, they're not overrated. I think they're actually as good as, you know, yes. I think they're good. Beyonce is overrated. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, I can feel it. I can feel it. I, I know. I can feel it. I can feel you. I know you don't agree with me, okay? I, I can feel your presence through the camera. I'm sorry, okay? This is my opinion. I haven't been following up on what Beyonce really is doing, and uh, I feel like everybody's talking about her as she's the queen. She's this, she's that, you know? She probably is. What do I know? Wait, they don't got no queen in America. Who are you trying to fool? <laughs> Beyonce is amazing. I don't listen to her music that much, but I know she's been in the industry for a long time, and she carries herself in this way, which brings so much value to who she is and what she stands for. And her husband, croissant lip, uh, that was not offensive, even though it probably was. His lips are almost as big as mine. <laughs> I listen to a lot of JC's music. I don't know. I just, I personally don't pay that much attention to what Beyonce is doing in her life. Overrated, maybe a little bit from my point of view. It, it's just like me, you know? Like people talk about me, but like they don't see that much from me on my YouTube channel. I'm overrated, probably. I don't know. Drake, ooh! Drake is overrated. Drake overrated. Drake is a little bit overrated, but I'm still gonna have to be on the other side. And I also pay attention to him, so like I know what he's doing. And if I were to pay the same amount of attention to Beyonce, probably I would have said yes to her too, but like, I don't know. Yes, I'm gonna say yes, okay? Yes, that's it. I prefer Apple Music. What is Apple Music? Can someone explain? Kendrick Lamar is an excellent rap, but his voice is annoying. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I agree and I agree. I think, oh, oh God. Yes, um, I think he's amazing. My brother loves him. He blasts his voice all over her house. Just kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> what do I say? Do I say yes or no? What is my count? Oh, okay, gotcha. By the way, what is your count? Are you following along? Kendrick Lamar, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Uh, I do listen to his music. I like his music, so. But no. <laughs> S set A can't sing. Say Sklant. She's an amazing artist and musical genius, but her lyric content production and general I'ma do me attitude, but her voice is just okay at the best. Unique if you wanna be nice. Uh, who's Slay? S S set A. S A Slay Slay Slayer? I must have heard some music from her, probably. I don't know what that is. Jaden is actually a great rapper and an overall artist, but people hate on him just because he's Will Smith's son. Probably true. Taylor Swift <laughs> doesn't have any award-worthy albums. I don't know. She's a snit, just like me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I just remember the goat meme from her. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to say uh, it doesn't have any awards or the album. She has one billion dollars. She's very rich. She has too much money compared to her compared to her listeners. I don't know what's going on with her, but I don't think she needs another award. Uh, I'm gonna have to say she does not have any award-winning albums, but who am I to know? I just listen to goats, right? The new generation gives too much emphasis on music, beats, and not enough on lyrics. That's why you have so many mumble rappers. Listen to me, buddy. Yo, I was born being a mumble boy. I mumble all the time, but I do agree. I do agree with ya. I think back in the day, people gave a lot more emphasis on the lyric and the meaning behind the song. Now it's more Mumble boy since 1997. Cardi B is only popular because her looks. I had no idea why 6 ix 9 and Lil Pump are so popular. J. Cole photography is highly underrated. Views is Drake's best album. Nicki Minaj can go in on a beat when she tries. Nas should be considered in the GOAT conversation. <laughs> I love Cardi B. I love her. I love her. I love you. And the reason why is because she's just herself. The thing about Cardi B is that she's just so herself. You can tell instantly by the way she acts and behaves that she's just being herself all around. And I love that in people. I love it. Six nine is, is his niche, and Lil Pump is a guy who only knows one word. So I'm gonna have to say stupid. The Beatles are overrated. Maybe I don't know. No, no. Too much attention is being paid to the wrong artists. Yes. All types of music is great, but country has to go. Listen, right now, search up. Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. If you hate country, you haven't heard this song. And if you do know this song, sing along with me. Baby, lock the door and turn. <laughs> No, no, country does not have to go. I love country. Anime openings and endings really do slap. Don't know what that means, don't really care. I'm gonna have to say yes or no. Just no. Classical is amazing. Yeah, I guess, in the right circumstance, yes. The best songs are the ones no one else knows about. Yes, if you have an ego problem like I have, it is. When you found the song, you listen to it and then everybody listens to it. Like, I found The Weeknd when he had 30,000 plays. I found Post Malone before anyone knew who he was. And he was better. But he is better now, technically. Yes, I'm gonna say yes. The only reason why people bash on K-pop so much is because of the fans. And because people are terrified of male femininity. Look at me. Listen, true story, someone actually called me. <laughs> someone called me Pretty Boy Glitter. <laughs> pretty Boy Glitter. That should be my new nickname. I should get a chain that says Pretty were glitter on it. I think yes. Video game music is indefinitely better than modern day music. And I mean so much better. There's no contest. I'd rather listen to my least favorite video game song than my favorite modern song. Uh, no. Oh boy! Alright, so now we're getting into the juice here, people. We had food and beverages, we had music, and now we're getting into dangerous territory. This is where I'm gonna get a lot of hate. This is where a lot of people are either gonna fully agree with me or fully disagree with me. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, my friend, are you keeping count so far? Good. Good. What we're gonna do right now is talk about unpopular opinions about society. <sighs> Damn! Alright, let's see what people said. society isn't strong enough emotionally. It does not matter if it's male or female, right or left, gay or straight. People take things too seriously. Yes. I mean, I feel like that's not an unpopular opinion. I feel like most people agree with this. Look at YouTube, for instance. If I swear in this video, I'm gonna be demonetized because people find it too insensitive. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, anyway. Your feelings don't give you the right to hurt others or destroy their property. <laughs> Obviously, no. The oh, sh oh my god. Yeah. All right, hold on, people. Not even a joke. This is actually where shit gets controversial. There are only two genders, All right? Feel the controversy building up? I identify as a chair. I mean, it's interesting, yada, yada, yada. You have two sides. People want to talk and discuss and you want to be who is right. Shut your. F Let people be who they want to be and move on. Everything's fine. It didn't affect you. We're all good. We can do our thing. We can do whatever we want to do in life. But then again, it's not your fault if you say something wrong. Hey, sir. And it's someone who's a transgender. I don't think they should get flack for saying that. But, you know, it's a slippery slope for loop. And I think we should just move the f on. Who gives a shit? All right, next one. Pop culture is more important than education. Hey, Sean. But like the Kardashians are awesome. I don't care. I don't know. You should go to go to school. This is such a hard video for me to make. Can you feel the juiciness of this video now? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media sites are destroying communication. I don't think it ruins society. I think people get more detached from society and from people. I guess to a certain extent, but I think it's also good in other aspects. And I don't know. Please help me out with this one, please. The smartphone is the most dangerous advice you've ever touched. 
It's not more dangerous than a gun. Boom, boom, boom. No, it's not dangerous. <laughs> but like what's on here, may maybe, yes. Yes, for some people. But I'm gonna have to say no. Oh shit, okay, so people pay too much attention to other people's business. Yes. Moving on. People are snoopy. Some people are. Yes. <laughs> people are too gullible. Yes. A lot of people are. I am gullible. People adhere the mob mentality. Yes! 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 Mob mentality. Sheep mentality. Potato. Potato. Yes. I hate this. That people don't think for themselves. Anyway, moving on. People are cheap and want to do much for little money. Yes. I think so. Bulbs are being sexualized. It's not a social construct. People won't stop lusting after you just because it's legal to show them in public. Don't show them, then. You don't know what that means, but yes. Oh, shit, okay. People in America are living off the government their entire lives. In Norway as well. Would you know? Well, my friend. I mean, this is getting pretty goddamn weird right now. My mind is starting to like melt. We shouldn't be quick to believe someone when they accuse another of assault. You should never. People talk, people are humans. You know, you should have a neutral perspective until whatever comes out or whatever's proven is proven, you know? That's just stupid. Listen, that's actually just stupid. If you just believe whatever people say. Okay, let's see what happens next before I jump the gun and say, Stupid shit, you know what I mean? Damn, that was deep. That was, that was good, bro. Pat my shoulder. If you're ugly, that's one way of opening a conversation, <laughs> right? Then you need to suck it up and stop complaining. So rude. I honestly think that most people are the most beautiful on the inside. You might be attracted. You might like look at someone that's like beautiful and be like, oh my god, you know? But, like, if you ever want to have something to do with that person for a long time, it's gotta be the inside. It's gotta be well, anyway. No, 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 no. You don't know. Shut. Shut your mouth. Women are morally justified in fearing men. Men don't seem to understand this. They think that because they are nice, all guys are. They think it is discrimination to fear someone solely based on their gender. Uh, yes and no. All right, so let me tell you this real quick, okay? So, quick fact from y'all. 90% of all males are stronger than all females, all right? 90% of all males are stronger than absolutely every female in the world. So there is some type of concern that goes into being a female, I agree. But saying that every single male is scary is kind of wrong, but I do understand why females feel uncomfortable often around guys. Uh, and there's like five guys chilling and you gotta walk past them. I understand, I, I get it. Like, I understand why girls would be more afraid. Like 90% of all males are stronger than females. Anyway, yeah, you get the point. You are the reason your life turned out as it has. Yes and no. Nature and nurture and your own mindset and your own attitude towards life is the reason. It's not that simple. Yes and no. But I have to pick one. Uh, no. It's partly because the choice I took. Mostly the choice I took actually. But it's not only because of me. I could have been born in My life could have been different. I could have been born where you live. I could have been actually your brother or sister. No, I could have been. <laughs> I could have actually been your brother. All right. Maybe I could have been your brother. Who knows? There's something horribly wrong with the modern men. Probably. The world we live in today has stigmatized traditional masculinity as being sexist and backwards, while forgetting that it is these very sexist attributes that makes men attractive to women in the first place. Yes and no. Because if you're a guy today in 2019, soon to be 2020, it can very often be misinterpreted as being sexist and this whole me too movement you see so many guys that scared out of their minds to go out on a date you know the guy who plays superman in this like latest superman movie that guy doesn't go on dates anymore because he's scared to be me too you shouldn't be sexist towards women either way i mean if you are sexist towards women and obviously there is people out there men out there who is sexist towards women and women who is that towards men but a lot of guys might come off that way but really isn't that way it's, it's a it's a slippery slope yeah. Single mothers are toxic to the development of young men. No, <laughs> I have a friend who was raised by a single mother and that's the best guy I know and I love her. She's amazing. Not everyone should aim to be a doctor, engineer, or insert highly successful career voice here. People can shoot for lower things without being lazy or failures. Absolutely. This is the most cliche thing ever. Do what makes you happy. That's the key to life. You're here for a certain amount of time. Like do what makes you happy, obviously, yes. That's I'm a YouTuber and I'm hardly living off of this shit right at this point because I've been posting so long. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just a happy, happy little kid, happy little boy. People that complain should be smacked in the effing face. No, no. But they should get a, a little bit of a kick to the tummy, if you recall from one of my older videos. Yeah, no, they shouldn't get smacked. 
to the face. What are you talking about? Smacked in the face because of complaining? People are on a different spiral dynamic level, all right? So you can't like, <laughs> stop it. There's a direct correlation between privilege and protest. Mm, I don't know. I'd say no, because that's, that's a slippery slope. So I'm gonna be safe and say no on this one. Moving on. Yes, now, thank you. I think people have too much belief in freedom. Ah, to a certain extent, yes. I mean, I can only speak from this from my perspective, but when you are free, like free, you don't have any responsibility. And every single person on this earth needs responsibility to get meaning into their life. So yes, I believe the rise of the modern political radicalism in Western nation is almost entirely the result of easy communication by the social media and the internet combined with an unprecedented period of peace and prosperity for these countries. Yo, I didn't understand a single thing, so I'm just gonna have to say Skarask me out again on that one and take it as you want, but uh, I don't know what that means. Oh god, another one. Me okay, here we go. Here we go. Many people are often openly and dramatically hypocritical when they call themselves animal lovers. Many people claim that they love animals while openly participating and encouraging industries that are unspeakably cruel to them. They think that because they own a pet they like, enjoy watching cat videos, and watch birds from time to time, it means they are animal lovers. You can be an animal lover even though you don't fully participate in helping animals. You can still love animals like it's an Emotion. I love my dogs. I still eat meat, but I love my dog. I wouldn't eat my dogs. Like, what do you mean? No, people aren't overly hypocritical on that. I think some people are, but not everyone. I'm pro-choice. I believe no woman should ever be forced to become a mother. Obviously. Wait, 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 wait. She should have the right to have the child and become a mother, or have an abortion, or give the child up for adoption. Oh. Uh... So I think yes and no. I, the mother should have the final say in it. In like, if she's gonna have an abortion or not, right? Like, just adopt a kid. If you have a father who wants to take care of the child, he should be able to take care of that child. She shouldn't just send it away to some other country, no. Society is doing pretty good. All things concerned, it's individual bad choices that are the problem here. It is not something you hear too often, but it's how I feel. Um, yes, yeah, because if everyone was just perfect and not human, it would be a perfect society, right? But we're still human, so I guess we're perfect. Oh no 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 Oh. All right, people, so this is where the whole unpopular opinion video takes a turn, because now oh, we went from stage one, two, three, and now we're moving into stage four. This, this is where I personally, and you, don't look at me like that, and you, we're gonna have amazing issues. See how I said amazing? Because I, I want to be a positive person, so I'm like a positive person, and I'm trying to make you, so. Um, we're gonna have some problems here, my friend. If you've ever been in a relationship, this is it. Now we're really, like, putting this to the test. So as you can guess, this next part of unpopular popular opinions is about relationships. Yeah, let's go. It's okay to fart in front of your significant other, lol. No, no it's not. It's disgusting, that's what it is. Don't do it. You don't have to go through hell and back with so much proof that you're a down ass person because that's not how relationships work and there's someone out there that will not cheat on you and worship the ground you walk on. Yes. Oh no, 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 no. I think I might actually skip this question. Long distance relationships is easy with the right person. No, I even if it's the right person, it's not easy. But if it is the right person, it's easier than if it's not the right person. But long distance relationships are not easy. Trust me. Mark my words, my friend. Don't, don't try it out. You're not sure. You don't have to fight for a relationship just because there's history. Okay? If you're outgrown someone after three or five plus years and you know it, then move on. Stop waiting for things to fall back into place when you know it's over. Yes. Yes. If you act like you don't care, don't be mad when they find somebody who cares. Keep the same energy. Yes, but I would be hurt. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean. You can't explain it. You just know what I mean. So many people. People are so desperate for love that they forget to take the time to love and learn themselves. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I think 80% of the people in the world don't love and know themselves well enough before they go into relationships, so yes. If the goal in the relationship isn't to eventually get married and be committed forever, then what's the point? I don't want it. Uh, listen, I got a little bit of a problem with this uh, quotation you got on over here. The point is life. You don't have to get married and committed forever to have have a loving and fun experience in this thing called life on this spinning rock we're on called earth for a little bit of time before you die like no 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 nope. screaming and yelling at your partner all the time isn't healthy stop glorifying arguing all the time and people need to stop telling couples that don't argue but they have
have a problem, you disagree. <laughs> you don't ever have to argue with someone if you guys are on good terms. You can talk, communicate, right? Have a good tone, be on the same wavelength. What works in one relationship won't work in all. Learning new things with your partner is an important shared experience. Yes. Don't tell people when you and your significant other are fighting. You forget everyone else will hold it against them. Yes. I think so, if I understand the question correctly. Yeah. A lot of people think it's cool to be around 24-7, but that's unhealthy. People need their space. Yes. Yes. Agree. Yes, yes, yes. Three, three yeses. <laughs> Holy shit! There is no such thing as the honeymoon phase. If you're in love, you're in love. You don't just lose the lovey-dovey feeling after the first couple of months. Whew. Um, unless you're a professional couples guy and girl. I think you do. You know, I actually have a great quote for you, my friend. They say that uh, it never gets better than just dating, which is a hard truth to swallow, but I think I actually think that's true. I think it gets more intense, maybe more deep, but I don't think it gets better and more fun and exciting as when you're dating. So the honeymoon phase, I think it's true. Sort of. I mean, I'd be unpopular, but uh, me personally, I think that's true. Just because someone says I love you does not mean you are forced to say it back. Save the opposing party, the other person, some heartbreak and be honest. Yes. But is this easy to do? No! Because maybe you do in the moment. Maybe you're lusting. Maybe you're like, oh, I love you. But yeah, you shouldn't do that. No. Fairy tales have diluted what a reality relationship looks like. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you can make it into a fairy tale if you're good. Happy wife, happy life. Ain't code to let her run your life at the expense of your own happiness. Yes, 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 yes. Agree. <laughs> Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Alright, so people, people, holy sh. Alright, so we made it through a lot of topics, a lot of themes, but now we're moving into the dangerous, the absolute lethal territory, okay? I don't want to joke around about this because this is actually serious stuff, but we're moving into religion. <laughs> Religion shouldn't exist. I think it should. I think it had to exist. It had to exist. Back in the day, you had thousands of prophets. Thousands. But some of them made it through the other ones. And that's what people wanted to follow. That's be to others the way you want others to be to yourself. I think it had to exist. And I think it had to exist right now. And I think it's a really good thing. So, God would... Oh, shit. I'm getting anxiety just from talking about this. God would have just killed the devil and said, We get hell and moved on swiftly. Here's the thing. The devil is inside you, my friend. Something called the ego. That's the devil. In my opinion. But you know, the, the wino. If your life is a mess, we shouldn't have to accept it just because God is bored and trying to see something. Or because his blessings come on his time. Wait, what? If your life is a mess, we should first look at ourselves and be like, what can I do to improve it? And then whatever the universe, God, Allah, decides to do with it is up to him. The universe, God, you know what I mean, right? But you should look to yourself like, what can, okay, in my surroundings right now, what can I do? do to make my life better. Let me clean my room first. I feel like every religion has the same God, but they don't know how to pronounce its name. God? The church is the new IRS. Wait, isn't that like a serious thing? IRS? Isn't that like the drug enforcement uh, policy, the border thing? Don't know. Can't answer. Probably. Probably not. Don't know. Boys! Who are raised in the church marry wonderly women when they grow up because they're more fun. Just ask your husband's former pastor's daughter. I don't know. I don't understand your opinion. I think I'm pretty fun and I'm not like fully religious, so. How come demons get all these cool powers? But we humans are only stuck with prayers. I believe God should bless our abilities to fight demons, Satan. I would never, never fight Satan. I'm sorry, I'm too much of a coward. I would never. I know some people would because some people are brave. Have you seen Lucifer? Have you seen Massacre? I would never be able to put up with that girl, but I want her. You know what I mean? Like, that's a demon. That's like a demon, and and I wouldn't know. <laughs> a lot of atheists was religious once, true? It's more popular than you converting to atheism from your religion, then converting to another religion. Yes, it is. It is a lot more popular to just be atheist. And I think people just, I, I don't know. I really don't know. What am I? I'm a speck. I'm a sandcorn. I'm gonna be done with. Very soon, I'm gonna be done with. And people are gonna forget me and everything's gonna be done. What happens after life? Done up. I'm such a stupid boy. I'm such a lonely mother. But yeah. People! 
people. All right, so that's 90 unpopular opinions. This is people around the world that said this online and gotten a lot of heat and a lot of hate and a lot of flack saying these things. So people should be able to say what they want and if you agree, just all right. And if you don't agree, all right. Now, I wanted to do something special with this video and have the last 10 unpopular opinions coming from me. This is me saying this to you and this is my opinion. This is what I stand by. This is what I mean. Here you have my number one 91 opinion that's not popular. Tattoos. I said it. But listen, it's probably not what you think. I love tattoos. I wanted to be a tattoo artist when I was younger. I have Miami Ink season one bought on DVDs. I love tattoos. But for me, for myself, if I'm drawing something on myself, I get motivated within 15 minutes. But it's probably also because it really sucks. If I were to get a tattoo, it would have to mean a lot to me. Like a significant, it would have to mean so much to me for me to get a tattoo. That's my first unpopular opinion. Number 92, people. This is something called this, all right? So this is something you have in Norway when you've graduated 13 years of your whole education. You become something called this, which is a crazy phenomenon. And uh, it's basically just the whole city of 18 year olds getting together, drinking a lot, a little bit too much and doing crazy stuff, right? You can go into a group and get your own bus and you become like a Rusegrupe, you know? I like this, I think it's fun, but I also think it's kind of not good right before you have your final exams. And personally, I've had a lot of friends who's everything's gone wrong for them while they're this, so. I think it should be in the summer after you're done with your education. Drugs, people, drugs. Drugs, I've always been really afraid of drugs and I made a promise to myself to never ever try drugs ever in my life. And I've had first-hand experience with people in my family that's on drugs right now, actually. Um, and uh, it's it's a scary thing. I, I've just made it a promise to myself. I don't like you drugs. I don't like when people do drugs, so yeah, that's it. My number four thing is YouTubers getting too entitled. Feeling too special. You know, some people out there are really special people and human beings. But if you're a YouTuber and you have a big following, it doesn't make you special. And when people walk around and act like they're special, act like they're above everyone else because they're a YouTuber, I've seen small YouTubers with like 10K subscribers do this shit. And they just, I don't, I don't like that stuff. I'm sorry, but uh, it's really weird. I don't like it. I'm sorry. All right, so this one is a little bit weird, but I know a lot of guys is going to understand, but maybe not agree with what I'm saying right now. But um, it's when you're at a party with the boys, you're at the with the boys, the guys and drinking beer, you know what I mean? And then guys start talking about girls in a negative way, like they're just objects. I've never really liked that stuff. It makes me kind of sick to my stomach when I hear guys talk about girls in that way. And uh, it just, it's just weird and uncomfortable. I get really uncomfortable when guys start talking that way about girls and really just not valuing girls for who they are and talking. You know what I mean, right? Like sexualizing girls and stuff. Like, I just think that's really weird. And I know some guys, a lot of guys actually that do that on a regular basis on parties, you know, hanging out with the guys and talking about girls and how many people they hooked up with and this and that you know but i just think it's kind of whack to be honest i don't know i think some guys are gonna find that opinion quite unpopular but uh all right, so the next one is school. People, school isn't for everyone. You don't have to go to school. School wasn't for me. School was definitely not for me. The only thing I did at school was being the class clown, joking around, being a fool, being the guy I am, and yeah, school just wasn't for me, and uh, I don't think it's for everyone, for sure. The next one, people, is parents being too controlling and too invasive in their kids' lives. I don't think that's good for the mental health of the kids, you know? It's gonna carry on to their adult life, and yeah. Let them live, let them learn, let them fail, let them build them themselves up again and yeah. The next one is not working out because it drains too much energy. A lot of billionaires is saying this, that they're not working out because they're gonna save their energy for business meetings later, for making their money, for running their business. But it's not true, people. Workout is gonna give you more energy. More exercise brings more energy. Less exercise brings less energy. Problem solved. My next personal opinion, people, is getting married. All right, so hear me out on this one, okay? I don't think everybody should get married. You know that the divorce rate now in the world is at 50%? Which basically means me just walking up to a table and saying, Hey, I want to get married. Can I get married? But of course, why do you ask? Because I love this girl. I don't want to marry her. Sure, sign up here. 50% of the people that's getting married is getting a divorce. This ain't good for anybody. Definitely not their kids. If they got kids. It's, a, it's basically like walking up to a table and rolling a dice to see if it lands on the number that you want it to land on. That is what getting married is like today. Obviously, I want to get married, but that ain't easy. And 50%, the number speaks for themselves, is getting a divorce. So I think it should be two very special people that's getting married. The next one, people, is talking shit about others. As you guys probably know by now, I hate this. I hate when people 
people just talk shit about others to make themselves feel better. This is such a teenage thing to do, and I feel like so many grown-ups never grew out of this thing, like talking shit about others. It just tells me so much more about you than the other person you're talking about. Talking shit about others is a weakness. You shouldn't do it. It's, it's not cool. It doesn't help anybody. It definitely doesn't help the people that actually talk shit about the others. That's probably a taboo and unpopular opinion due to the fact that so many people do it but don't want to admit it for themselves. All right, people. We made it. Yo, people, so that's it. Damn it, I freaking love you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to become part of the goddamn best family on YouTube. And I will love you forever. And hey, how did it go? Tell me you scored down below, all right? Let's see how much you got compared to me. Let's see if I'm as cool as you, my friend. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.